so in this video I want to talk about looping in PCDMS and as you can see here in our training room I have our training CMM set up with three of our demo blocks uh, written a short program with a few dimensions looped three times um, so looping is something we introduce in our PCDMS level 2 curriculum so if you want to check out um, some of the training courses we offer please go to our website in the training section and you can actually sit in this room right here and get trained by myself or some of our other instructors. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about specifically with looping is the variable component of it. So loops themselves are actually variables and the value of the variable is actually a counter. So when we run the loop once, the value is one. When we run it a second time, the value is two. And I'll show you how to take advantage of that counter in um, a PCDMS program. So if you look at the loop command here, I have it open here in a dialog box. In the middle, you can see variable ID. Um, so this is where you could change the name of it, but the name is less important than what the variable actually does. So I'll just leave it at default uh, V1. And for this first program that I ran, I wanna keep loop IDs checked. That is the default setting and I'll show you what that does. Okay, so let's run um, the first program and then uh, we'll see what kind of a report that produces. Okay, so as you can see here, the final report produced from that program, it's not as clear as you might like. So recently I, I showed a new programmer how to use a loop and he didn't like the report because it's all bunched together and it doesn't distinguish between part one, two, and three. Uh, very clearly it does show the loop IDs with a square bracket which is the default setting and that was from the checking the loop IDs checkbox so what I showed him was um, a way that we can use the loop variable as a counter so let's take a look at the uh, second program I wrote using the variable to our advantage okay so here's my second program this one is a little more advanced um, so you can see my loop command right there so what I've done with that variable ID v1 is I actually inserted it into a report comment at the end of my program you can see it there and what I'm doing is using the counter to identify each iteration of the execution of the program so the text will show once it's executed as demo block 1 demo block 2 demo block 3 with a bit of spacing to make the report a little more clear. Um, the other thing I've done with the variable v1 is a little more advanced. Um, I've again used the counter aspect of the variable and you can see here that I've assigned the variable v3 to correspond with the part number. So part number one, when the counter is one, it'll show the wording gray and number two yellow number three green so i just wanted to show you a second way we can use that variable id v1 in our reporting so if we go back to the report comment you can see down here um, i've just included both of them so both of those are using the counter aspect of the variable uh, function of the loop okay so we'll run this and then i'll, I'll show you what the report looks like after Okay, so here you can see the final report, including both the part number and the color of the part. <laughs> so both of those are drawn from that variable V1 counter. Okay, so that's about it. Um, just a, a quick uh, tutorial on using the counter part of the loop in a report comment. So I hope you found that uh, useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.